Okay, in this very brief section, I'm going to take a quick look at the manufacturing processes that are typically employed in ceramic manufacturing. Uh, and I said that this is going to be very brief because we've covered these before. Uh, but the, the main way of processing ceramics is uh, powder processing. Um, as I said, they have very high melting temperatures. They're very hard. They're difficult to machine. Uh, so powder processing is really uh, just one of one of the main methods that can be achievable. Um, and we've we've covered these previously. So sintering is um, you know heating the powder. Uh, particles to just below their melt temperature so that they fuse together. Um, hot isostatic pressure processing is a, it's a combination of a sintering under pressure. Um, and what this would do, and this would be more favorable to just pure sintering, um, because the, the pressure is equal in all directions, um, that the system is under pressure during sintering, um, you eliminate micro cracks and any void. So you get you know, superior mechanical properties using hot isostatic pressure processing. A powder injection molding, I've covered again in the previous in the metal section. Uh, I have a little uh, depiction of it down here. So the ceramic powder is fed into a nozzle um, and it runs into two moulds. In this instance, um, the system is pressurised and sintered and then the parts are ejected. Um, so that would be powder injection moulding. I've covered it in more detail in the metal section, so do go back on that and I'll cover it again in the polymer section. So selective laser sintering is another method. Um, it's an additive manufacturing method. Again, this has been covered elsewhere in this course. Uh, so it is in the additive manufacturing suite of techniques or rapid prototyping, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, where a laser, uh, where, where the, the part is built up layer by layer using a laser to trace out the dimensions. Uh, and the laser also helps to center the particles and fuse them. So I will refer you back to previous slides um, on those techniques. So likewise, as I said, very difficult to machine. However, laser cutting and abrasive water jet technology um, are used. Laser cutting, uh, which we talked about so um, again previously, so ultra shortwave laser um, that generates enough heat to cut through the ceramic. And abrasive water jet technology um, uses a high pressured stream of water to cut through the ceramic. And this is an example of a uh, water jet nozzle. So I will refer you back to previous slides on this subject. Okay, so actually that's all I have to say on ceramic processing. Thank you.